Jalen Weidermeyer, tight end out of Texas A&M, uh, listed at 6'4", 6'5", 255 pounds, a little bit slower, um, running a 4'7", and, and he's, he, Jalen is a good route runner. Um, he's not always the best pass catcher, though. Like, I do think that's going to be um, one of the things that he's working on consistently coming into the NFL, but he is more of a receiving tight end than a blocking tight end. Um, even with that 6'4", 255 frame, uh, he he whiffs uh, more, more often than I think these NFL teams are going to like to see him, and that is going to cause him to drop. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he was – anywhere between tight ends two and four off the board. So we're looking probably late second round, maybe early third round, depending on how the draft board's going to fall. But um, he's a four-year starter at Texas A&M. So he's seen, um, I guess, big, big game football, right? He plays or has played against a lot of NFL type talent in his day. So obviously with this position, it takes probably the longest period of time to reach your potential from draft day uh, just because they're learning offensive line and blocking schemes and concepts as well as route trees, timing with a quarterback and and all those nuances that come along with being a pass catcher. So um, I, I honestly don't see him lighting the world on fire this year's draft with a Tight ends is a little lackluster, if you will, but nevertheless, I could see um, I could see a team like Green Bay picking him up at the end of the second round, trying to fill in some weapons for a uh, for Aaron Rodgers, since they really don't have anyone for him to throw the ball to at the moment. 